Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you my Dazzle settings. If you do not have this program that I have up right now, I don't know if I can help you. If you have like that DVD recorder uh, software, I don't know anything about that one. Maybe it's the same, I don't know, because I've never used it. So, uh, as you can see, it says Dazzle, uh, Dazzle DVC 100. And I use Edis Video, that's probably where I get most of my good quality from. Composite really blows. And the S-Video cables, uh, it was only $10 from GameStop, so, and it really does help out the quality. It brings it from, like, uh, a Dazzle to an HD PVR with the S-Video, so. I have the black Dazzle, if you didn't know. It was 70 or $80 from Best Buy, and, uh, it's really good, and I like this software. It has a lot of, like, titles and stuff you can put in your video. It has a really good editing area. It renders really fast, so I like it. And uh, if you don't have this software, I don't know if this will help you or not, but here we go. These are all my settings for it. And it'll always, like when you turn your import on, it'll always start at 4, four by 3 aspect ratio. You want to turn it to 16 by 9. And NTSC, because I live in the US. I don't know what these two are. Probably different countries, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I I either I never bring this up more than this. I keep it down. I usually keep it like right about there. The rest of it's pretty good. Make sure you have 16 by 9 on. By 9, sorry. It's kind of late, but so that's pretty much it. And then I'll show you my presets over here. I got the uh, MPEG-2, which is really good. Uh data bleh, data rate uh, 8 or higher. I usually do 8 to 10. Audio MP2, of course. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Custom right there. And then, uh, yeah. So you capture your video, and then you'll have something like this. I'll just do a quick little demonstration for you guys. Okay, so you'll have your video once you click the video, and then here it is. I'll just do my RC hit mark with a grenade as an example. So you drag it down to here, and then that's pretty much it. You have the video, you add it, you edit whatever you want. So that you can put in a fade in in the beginning, fade in the end. So let's see here. Go to titles, add a title in the beginning, right there. Then you right click it, go to titles, and we'll just type whatever. Ugh delete all this and type in RC car hit mark with grenade how do you spell grenade <laughs> Gr grenade I have no clue how to spell grenade so you can just click that and then we'll put another one at the end we'll pick this one throw it there and we'll just say this is how, pretty much how I make all my videos on the gamer. If you're wondering if you're from the gamer, who knows? But okay, let's type in "thanks for watching." Thanks for fucking a. Thanks for watching. There, and then you click OK. Then let that little green bar load up. That's pretty much it. Rendering. See it right there. And I'll do this one and then I'll do that one. Now, the video, if you guys can see it right here, RC car, and it plays through the whole thing. As you can see, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll, I'll be putting this video up on the Gamer 565 if you want to see it. And then at the end, it fades out, and thanks for watching, that's it. So now what you do is you go to Make Movie, and, uh, you go to M MP uh, MPEG-2, that's what I use, and then you do custom, which is what I do. Here are my custom settings right here. MPEG-2, preset custom, I have MP2 stereo, 42, whatever that says, and 224 data rate. In the video area, I have MPEG-2, of course. I can either do 720 or 1080i, but I do 720 because 1080i is just stupid. Because 
it's not real. My data rate, I either do 8,000 to 10,000. I guess you can go up to really high, but that's not necessary. I mean, maybe 15,000 if you really are trying to get the best quality ever. But I just do 8,000 for most of my videos. So, we'll just do it at 8,000. And we'll click OK. And then right here it tells you how much space you have free. Uh, how much you've used and how big the file size is. So you click create file type in hit mark hit mark right there in my video section click save and then it will go through the rendering process pretty much you gotta wait till this thing is full and I'll pause the video until it, that little orange bar is almost done so yeah Okay guys, so the movie is complete. As you can see right here, it says, Make Movie Complete. So that's pretty much all you do. You exit out, don't save it unless you want to. And then I'll go show you the video right now. And, uh, here it is. Let it load. There it is. Double click it. And here it is. I'll just let it play a little bit. And then I'll have a link in the area over here, like in the right hand corner of the video on YouTube. So, yeah. That's pretty much all you do. Here, I'll skip ahead in a little bit. Try. No, we don't want to see that. Alright, I'm back up a little bit. Okay. And as you can see, that's what it looks like. I can get the quality a little better by tweaking it, and I'll probably show you that in my next tutorial, but for the main part, this is the second best quality you can get with it. So yeah, and it's also a little better, but I had to like, it's a long story, but anyways, that's how you get good quality on your Dazzle, so if you haven't checked out my channel, it's the Gamer 565 with two R's at the end of Gamer. So, uh, yeah, check that out. That's pretty much it, guys, and uh, thank you for watching.